As I record this episode, 27 for those of you keeping track, we have more than 2,200 views and 49 subscribers. Thank you. And as for why episode 25 has an identical twin, I don't know. I guess twice as nice. Keep spreading the word about our little corner of the internet here in the Teen Canteen. And let's get to 50 subs. Then 60. And 70. And... The Vault of Silliness gives us the second part of a January weekend we started on the last episode. January 23rd, 1993. With scratchy, transistor radio audio quality, I present to you a dumb birthday game that features not one, not two, but three teenagers playing. We were so lucky to have had such a diverse age range of our listeners. Okay, here are the players. Glenn from Brighton, falling in love with every woman on the show. He's also celebrating his 41st birthday. Michael from Chelmsford, who's 15. Carrie from Indiana, a junior in high school. Kristen in East Bridgewater, who's 17. We also have two traffic reporters, Aaron Sawyer and Lisa Reichwin. Sid Whitaker and his cardboard cutout are producing the show. And I'm on the phone. Celebrated birthdays, Anita Pointer, Princess Caroline of Monaco, Jean Moreau, French actress. And you know what that means. Norm goes all French on us again. Wah. Richard Dean Anderson, Cheetah Rivera, and Jerry Kramer. We close out with the date in history, the year Casablanca premiered. Norm divulges he is writing a shocking behind-the-scenes tell-all expose about radio. We get some more sage advice from Norm's Hungarian gypsy princess grandmother. And before we talk right into the news, a desperate Norm cries out to WBZ management. So we're now into Sunday, January 23rd, and his orchestra. And you tell me how old you think they are, and whoever gets the most correct answers gets to be the winner and also gets a really stupid prize. Thank you. Let's see who's playing. Glenn is playing the game with us. Hi. Glenn, I'm Brighton, you are, you are uh, uh, having a birthday today yourself. I'm, I'm 41 today. 41 on January 23rd. We don't have to guess your birthday at all because of oh, your age. It was 1953. You were born in 1953. In the now-defunct osteopathic hospital in Cranston, Rhode Island. Well, that was a beautiful place to be born. And uh, I love the, uh, speaking of birthday presents, I love that new traffic woman you get on there. Oh, you fall in love with any woman's voice that's on this program. You are so fickle. Do you realize, if you were to marry me, I would have a new Lisa on life. Get it, Lisa? Lisa well, we're going to talk with Lisa in just a few minutes. All right. Trying try to restrain yourself a little bit, Glenn. Okay. Lisa's going to be playing the game with us, too. All right. Michael is playing the game with us. Michael is up in Shell Street. Hello. Nice to talk to you again, Michael. Good. Uh, I can't wait to talk to Lisa either. Pardon me? I can't wait to talk to Lisa either. Oh, you're excited about Lisa. And you're the you're the little guy who sounds like you're about four feet tall. You're actually six feet, and you weigh 210, but you're a big guy. Yeah. And you're 15. Yeah. Okay, Bob. Well, delighted to have you with us. Okay. Is it okay for you to be up this late? Are you... Are you defi- it's on the weekend. Okay. You're not defying anybody's rules at your house by being up this late then. No. I'm not saying, Michael, will you get to bed? I don't care how tall and big you are. You gotta get your sleep. Nobody's saying that. Nope. Okay, that's Nobody good. Asleep. Oh, they're all asleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's Terry from Indiana is playing the game with us. Hi, Terry. Hi, Norm. How are you doing? Good to talk with you again. And nice to have you as playing our game. Is this the first? No, this is not the first time you played. Oh no. You're an I'm... old. You're an old professional. Yeah, I played many times. Many times. Now, where in where are you in in Indiana? Fort Wayne. Oh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, where the temperature is 73 degrees below zero. Yeah. Not, not counting the wind chill factor. Oh, yeah. We missed two days of school this week, well, this past week, because um, the wind chill factor was 50 below. So Really? Oh, my. What what grade are you in? Um, I'm a junior. Junior in high school? Yep. Hey, do you know Michael? Michael. Oh, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say, oh, geez? Do you, do you think Michael is undesirable? Um... Because his voice hasn't changed yet, so he probably sounds <laughs> sounds too young. But he's a big guy. What do you think of uh, Carrie, Michael? Uh, <laughs> oh, well, you see, he's he's hesitant because you were not saying nice things about him. That's a question for um, him. Oh, okay, you I, ha- you hang in there, and maybe as we go along, you'll get to know each other a little bit better. 
Okay. Okay. Because here's Kristen, who's in East Bridgewater, as opposed to Bridgewater. <laughs> How you doing, Kristen? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, just okay? Well, I'm extremely tired, but... <laughs> I know, it, and you stayed up this late to, to play the game with us. Yeah, okay. Do you know how much I I appreciate that? Oh, okay. This much, this much. Yeah, I'm spreading my arms out to show you how much <laughs> how much I appreciate it. We well, let's see. We got the in and we've got the uh, Aaron Sawyer is with us. Hi, Aaron. Howdy. Uh, I think I'm going to be resigning and taking up the job as Lisa's fan club president. I believe. Well, you can chance she can be your president, your fan club president too. <laughs> she would have very light job duties. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, don't. Give me that modest business. <laughs> and Lisa's there with you right now. Lisa, can, you can hear me, okay? I can. Okay. Now, do you understand how the dumb birthday game is played? I just, I tell you who's born in the state, and you just guess their age. And it's a pretty stupid game and, and, and all that. But uh, uh, we take this these raw materials, and we, we make them into a big production, and it becomes hilarious and wondrous. Or boring. Sometimes it's boring. <laughs> Does that sound like a real challenge to you? For a picture of me over in the production studio, I go off and do other things. For oh, that's right. You, you just have a fake picture. That's right. That's, that's this right. Is, this you know, is the real you now. I go into the other room and shoot some pool and drink some beer and do stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Sid's actually with us over here at the uh, traffic office. So. Well, who's that where he is now? I wondered why there's nothing but blankness and a, and a cardboard cutout of a producer there. He's getting awful close to Lisa, too. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, between Lisa, between Lisa and Kristen and Carrie, I'm really getting excited. It's kind of crowded in here. <laughs> it is. Okay, we also have Tony Nesbitt, WBZ producer par excellence, who's with wow. us also. Oh, I think oh, I heard some people gasping for you. You know, Norm, you have just about as many players as commercials you played before this game. Mm -hmm. I know it. And I have I got about 17 more commercials to get it caught up with. What the hell with them? You know? now, I want you to think really hard now, okay? Yeah. Kerry and Kristen. All right. <laughs> yes. They were in the studio. Oh, uh, less than a year ago. Oh, that's right. Do you yes, remember I, now? I do remember. Yes, I do remember. Okay. And I remember you uh, You met them and you fell desperately in love with both of them and you've been writing them obscene <laughs> letters ever since. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much memory, Norm. Go. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's what we do. I tell you who's born again, as, as you know, on this date. And uh, that kind of stuff. Oh, happy birthday, Glenn. Excuse me, no. No. We're going to get that out of the yeah, way. He's 41 years old today. Yeah. He's an old poop, isn't yeah. he? Huh? I'm a middle-aged geezer. A middle-aged what? Geezer. Oh, middle-aged geezer. I'm a person I thought he called the engine something with an old geezer. As who? Paul Benzikler. You did say Paul Benzikler. Well, he called himself an old geezer. Oh, it's okay. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, Anita Pointer, one of the members of the Pointer Sisters. Which one is she? She's the one over there. Oh. Okay. It's an optical illusion. See where I'm pointing? That's right. It's, it is an optical illusion. I hate this business. Everybody steals my material. That's why I asked you, Norm. I wasn't sure which one she was. Yeah. She was the one. Uh, she's the one in the uh, middle next to the other one. Seems like she's on the left, but actually that's an optical illusion. That's right. Because their biggest hit was Slow Hand in 1981. They recorded that. Anita Pointer. Okay, what do you think, Glenn? How old is she? Uh, give me a hint, Anita Pointer. No, she's 47. Uh, she's 47. Yeah, he's, he's going to do bad jokes, but Oof, it's yeah. his birthday, so we have to let him get away. Yeah, yeah even though they're oh, stupid and pitiful, pitiful jokes. Michael, what do you think? 45. 45? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Carrie? Um, 51. Okay. 51. Okay. 51 years old. Okay. What do you think, Kristen? I want to be 50. 50. And Tony, what do you think? You got a pencil. You're all right there. You're all set in a pen, right, Norm? <laughs> I beg your pardon? You have a pencil and a pen, right? I have a pen. Oh, okay, because yes. I heard you say you needed a pointer. I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, I expected more from you. I'm so you did? I'm so dis yeah, I don't know you why. I'm, I'm so used to nothingness from you. I don't know why I expected more. Well, no, no. Uh, I need a pointer. Mm. Need a, I need a pointer. Yeah. Yeah. She's a... Uh, <laughs> 
Let me see, in 81, she was probably... Uh, hey. Uh-huh. Oh, that's right. In 81 was uh-huh. slow handoff. Uh-huh. 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 45. 45. Okay, you're saying the same as Michael said. I am. I you, am? I noticed that. Yeah, because I have a pointer here and I'm writing it down. You don't need one anymore then. Next. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic person, Aaron. What do you think? I think, therefore I am. 41. <laughs> That, now, that was very intellectual, that what he just said. I think, wow. therefore, I am. Yeah, that was really nice. And the very lovely Lisa, who has had the men are listening and falling in love with you. This is her very first guest. Her first, her very first guest. This is another thing, like the first traffic report uh, ever. She's making history today. Every time she opens her mouth and says anything, it's the first time she's done it. We're excited about that, Lisa. Well, thanks. What do you, oh, well, well, thanks. Don't be so casual. I can't stand newcomers being so casual. Okay, how old do you think Anita Pointer is? Um, I'm going to say 47. 47. You see where I'm pointing? That's where she is. <laughs> Among the other Pointer sisters. Sid, what do you think? Are you are you in love? Are you in love with the? Uh, Lisa or Carrie or Kristen, which one? All three of them, actually, Norm. Yeah, well, head you're, over heels. Yeah, your head, your head blood is the same as I am. It's like, it, if you just go ahead and call the ambulance. So the Sid can get away with that because he's got that cardboard cutout he puts in the room, and he can walk away and go to Kristen, and then he puts the cover and he goes to Carrie, and they don't know he's gone. I never it's, thought of it's that. It's great. That's how he does it. And it works out for everybody. And it's got about the same amount of personality, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Maybe, maybe a little more. <laughs> okay, oh, you, guys, you guys are so nice. <laughs> uh, how old do you think Anita Pointer is? By the way, uh, I have to be in love with Anita Pointer. I don't know about the rest of you with these other young kippies there. Well, <laughs> I'll go with 38, Norm. 38, okay. Uh, Anita Pointer actually is 46. Ooh. Uh, so we have a lot of winners, actually. Just Tony... Tony Ted sounds like Yeah. All right. What? <laughs> Glenn remembers too much. It scares me sometimes. Really I can hear myself. Yeah, Glenn, go get yourself a life, will you please? Far <laughs> <laughs> too much idle time. Yeah. <laughs> Princess. The piano tuning business is sporadic, you know. Yeah, that's right. This Glenn is a piano tuner. A uh, Princess Caroline of Monaco. Let me tell you a few things about her. Uh, lives in Mon- uh, Monte Carlo, Monaco. Daughter of the late Grace Kelly and Prince Rainier. Her second husband, Stefano Cusiragi, died in a speedboat race in 1990, which doesn't help you identify how old she might be. But Princess Caroline, let's start with you, uh, Sid. How old do you think Princess Caroline, Grace Kelly's daughter, is? Grace Kelly's daughter. Let's see. Uh, well, did I say Chris Kelly? <laughs> I meant, you know, I meant uh, Grace, Ke- yeah, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly. Uh, yes. Grace Kelly, yes. I knew Grace Kelly things. I could do it. And, and Pr- Prince Renier. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, 35. 35. Yeah. Okay. And the lovely Lisa. Are you lovely? Because I, I, cause I can't see you and I... Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I'm not sure what the answer is. You find when you go by a, 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 a group of men that they spin their heads around and stare at you. No, I don't think that usually happens. <laughs> it doesn't happen with me either, so don't feel too badly. <laughs> I'm in good company. Yes. Okay, I think Princess Caroline is 37. 37, that's very nice. You're you're starting off your traffic reporting career in really nice style. One day, you know, you'll end up probably having to report it on the with Jerry Williams or Gene Burns or some schlock of mini program and, and everything will be down the toilet from that point on. So this is kind of nice. You get kind of breaking into it in a, in a really fun way. It is nice. Thanks yeah, for your help. Yeah. And the birthday game is extremely acceptable on a resume. <laughs> it really is. I mean, this, the, yeah. we've, we've had, we've, uh, we've placed a number of people in fantastic jobs as a result of being able to include this in their resume. I mean, look at Jack Hart. Four years he's been playing the game, still doing overnight traffic. <laughs> well, he happens to be an exception. Yeah. But we have the uh, chief executive officer of uh, Borgatti 
automobile manufacturing company, he started out as a traffic reporter on this program. And as I recall, uh, I think it was uh, Michelle Pfeiffer started out as a traffic reporter. Oh, wow, yeah, I remember those it. days. That oh, yeah. Great. Remember when you just break it in? Yeah. Well, look at it, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. And yeah, Norm, I did some research. Not only that, but Rush Limbaugh started out in the BZ copter before he got too big to fit in it. <laughs> That's right. He achieved his greatest success when somebody pushed him out after he talked too, too stupidly, as I recall. <laughs> anyway, Aaron, how old do you think the lovely princess, whoever we're talking about, uh, Princess Caroline of Monaco, how old would she be today? Oh, 35. 35. Okay, Tony? Princess Stephanie is the younger one, correct? That's correct. All right, so Princess Caroline. 30... 38. 38, okay. As opposed to... Also, she has a younger, younger brother named uh, Prince Macy. I Macy made, what? I, I made that up. Oh. It seemed like terribly funny as I was thinking of it, but as it came out, it was, it really, was, kind of, yeah. it was really stupid. Very yes. stupid. It, it failed. It failed badly. Yes, that's true. Kristen? Um, I guess 33. 33. Are you a young person? You're a young person too, aren't you, Kristen? I'm 17. 17 is a good age. Demographics on this thing are beautiful. Fantastic. Tell the like sales it. department, for heaven's sake. <laughs> this is really great. Have you heard that ad on WB on WHDH about BZ? I, I heard it the other day. Did you? I heard it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, yeah. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But they're, they're so full of coke over there that it's, it's, a, it's a name. Full of coke. Gee, there we, there's some demographic freeze for you right there. <laughs> well, we try to get all ages, <laughs> including the old poops, too. Uh, Oh, a coke. Oh. Full of coke. Well, that could be a young thing, too, I suppose. That is a young. It depends on what kind of coke you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Carrie, what do you think? How old do you think Princess Caroline is? Hmm. I think she's 37. You said he? Huh? Did you say you think he's 37? No, I said she. Oh, she. You did say <laughs> You did say she. Okay, 37. And Michael? I'm going to have to agree with Carrie and Tony. 37. 37. That's okay. too bad, Mike. I said 38. But, you know, thanks oh, for the yeah. thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, Lisa said... Oh, my memory's going. <laughs> yeah, Lisa said 37. Okay. Oh. And you said 38. Okay, Glenn, what do you think? 37. You say 37. Yep. Well, those of you who said 37 are correct. Ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah, she is 37. That means Glenn... I know, Mike. Sorry. Geez. Glenn, Michael, Carrie... The lovely Carrie and the lovely Lisa. Two in a row for Lisa. Yeah, Lisa and uh, Glenn and Michael all have two. Now, do you understand, Lisa? You have two in a row. You're a beginner. You know what we have to accuse you of now? Cheating. cheating. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You're cheating. <laughs> Things can only You're go cheat. downhill from here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, cheat is the first time around. Oh. The future doesn't look good for no, you. No, not at all. No, not at all. No, it's awful. Okay, Jean Marot. The uh, movie Bless actress, uh, born in Paris, French stage and screen actor. Do you know who she is, Jean? Like in Jean mm. Moreau? As in Moreau. Moreau, as in Moreau. Jean Moreau, as in Moreau. Uh, Jean Moreau, who's Film, that? Who's that? Who's that? Years, oh, anything? No, no, I have nothing, no information on her beyond oh, that. Just geez. French stage and screen actress. I will tell you, she's not. She's not a newcomer to the movie business. Okay. Is he related to Menage a Trois? Oh, he's doing, he's doing dirty jokes. Now. Oh, it's oh, really? pitiful. But it's his one. birthday, so we'll get let him get away with it. <laughs> Tony, we're going to start with you on this one. John Metro. I knew you were going to do that. Yeah. You, 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 um, ought, you ought to be a psychic on the, on the radio. Maybe Bob Raleigh could use you some Thursday night when the other person... Maybe I could buy show. time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see. Jean Mero. Jean Mero. Mero. French stage and screen, eh? Ouais, ouais. Would you like some more thoughts, senor? Yeah, as I said to Jean Mero the other day, I said to her, I said, uh, Jean, ma chère. Ma chérie, vous avez une visage comme une grande pièce de fromage. 
Quand il y a tête, quand tu es mieux, prends dans ses bras. Et as soon as I got the bra, somehow, she hit me in the face. 87. Eight, 87. Wow. Is that what you say? 87? <laughs> Are you saying that, Tony? Uh, yeah, no, man. Okay, Tony says, <laughs> 87 years old. And what do you say, Carrie? Um, <laughs> I'll go with Tony. You say, 80, hey. are you going to go with Tony and say 87 years old also? Yep. Okay. Well, we're getting really sickening and we've hardly begun this. Okay, uh, Lisa, what do you think? Um, I'm going to go with 67. 67. Well, uh, that's a little dispar disparage, whatever the word is. Listen, well, that's 20 years off the lady's life. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Glenn, what do you think, birthday boy? I'll say 67. You'll say 67 also. You just copy what other people say, don't you? <laughs> oh, he's trying to... No, I only no, I copy Lisa. Exactly. Not other people. That was, that was so blatant, Glenn. Huh? <laughs> Not other people. Did no, you? that's right. You you copied her every single time. Every uh, three well, out she, of three. No, she copied me the first time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Anyway, Kristen, what do you think? Seventy-five. Well, I always blows my cover. Yeah, because you're a fake. You're really <laughs> pitiful. You're a pitiful human being. <laughs> Sid, what do you think? I say 78. 78. And uh, Aaron, what do you think? Well, I met Jean Miro aboard the Calypso when we were looking for the piano tuna outside of the Mediterranean. Uh, I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> and uh, she was 74. 74, yes, old, you say? <laughs> Does she do uh, right? Okay, well, I'll, I will not tell you her real age. So wait, you forgot about me. Pardon me? About me. <laughs> oh, I did forget about you, Michael. I'm sorry. How old do you think? Oh, 77. 77. Is that what you said, 77? Yeah. Uh, 67. Uh, she is actually, uh, she's actually 66. Oh, gee, sorry, Carrie. 66. Wow. That means that, I had no idea. That means that Glenn and Lisa... Uh, the two winners, they both have three apiece. They're both... Jeez, the way you see it, you fooled me again, Norm. You and this, I'll tell you, she's not a newcomer. You make it sound like she's about 87. Well, no, it's uh, 66. <laughs> and stage, stage, and screen, you figure stage, uh, you know, you're going to be about 70-something. Uh, always, well, oh, always oh, 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 me. You're, 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 you're a kidder, you know. No, you're, no. you're rationalizing. No, so you did that to me last summer. No, when I say she's not a newcomer, 66 is not... Or 66 is not a new comic. It goes in the same thing as, as when you say, you know, this is one of my heroes. So your figure wolf was one of your heroes. You're going to be at least 10 years older. And some of your heroes are younger than you are. You're always confused That's right. That. That's right. A lot of my heroes are younger than I am. Um, so you can't tell by that. I, I, I know. I've learned my lesson. I, I now I've learned my know. lesson about this. She's not a newcomer. <laughs> She's 12. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the, you apply that knowledge now to this guest. This, oh, okay. is, this is Richard Anderson. Everybody copy Lisa now. <laughs> <laughs> or, or Glenn, who's copying Lisa anyway. All right, because Lisa's cheating. She's got three, four. How many? <laughs> She's got three out of three. Okay, Richard Anderson is uh, with MacGyver. Richard Dean Anderson. Right? Same guy. I don't know. That's I just right. I just have Richard Anderson. Dean is his middle name. Richard Dean Anderson. That's right. From Minneapolis, Minnesota. That guy. Is he the MacGyver or is he the guy that plays the character MacGyver? No, he's TV's yeah, he's TV's MacGyver and he's been MacGyver for seven seasons now. Oh, he was Jeff on uh, General Hospital before that. Oh, was, was he? he? Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, we're getting a little more into the life of Aaron. Yeah. Not knowing that he knew that he was Jeff on General Hospital. Yeah. And he was, uh, ma like. and, on, on a, and on a brighter day, he was Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he keeps working, because he's, he's very versatile. I love the way they say he was TV's MacGyver, like there was a movie MacGyver. Or a radio MacGyver. Yeah, a radio MacGyver. I think he's a, he was a piano tuner in there someplace, too. <laughs> now, now, you, now you're cutting into Glenn's territory. Actually, the life of Aaron, that was a soap opera that took place in an Irish pub, the crime band. Oh, here we go. Okay, Aaron, Aaron, I want to start with you this time. Richard Anderson, how old would you say he is? I would have to say, with my infinite knowledge, that he's 40. 
with your infinite knowledge, 40. Okay. And, uh, Michael, what do you think? Uh, 49. Michael says 49. And Glenn says... Hmm, I never heard of him, so I gotta think that. I know, I did call on Lisa first, so you can't copy her. See, when was MacGyver popular? MacGyver was popular... Two years ago was the last show, two years ago was the last show. Oh, I was gonna say around the turn of the century. He was on for seven seasons. Was it up to about a year or two ago? Yeah, it's about two years ago. Yeah. So seven seasons was what, 81? No. Yeah, that would be 88. Yeah. Carry the two, square root three. <laughs> <laughs> Divide by pi. I'm going to make a my 41. 41 years old. I don't know why. But we don't know why either, Glenn. But we don't even care. We don't even care why. <laughs> we don't need to know. Yeah, we don't. We, if we we, we needed to know, we'd, we'll, we'll call know, you. I know Bruce Conley has all the us. That's all. <laughs> okay, Sid, what do you think? The age of Richard Anderson. You're speaking to his cardboard cutout. That's why you're not hearing <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The mouth is moving, but it is kind of right. like, yeah. uh, Something happened there. Uh, 37. 37. Uh, okay. And uh, Kristen, what do you say? I think he's 43. 43. Okay. And uh, Aaron? No, I just got Aaron. 40. Lisa, what do you say? I'll give him 39. Uh-oh. Uh, did you say? See, she's no around and she's not heard. You see, all. Oh, of uh, this, 39, is that what you say? That's what I say. Okay. Now, you did know. you know who he was trying to <laughs> do an impression of, Lisa? Don't embarrass me, because you won't know. I don't know. No, she... <laughs> I have to admit it. <laughs> now, cut that out. <laughs> okay, Car uh, Carrie, what do you think? I think I'll go to my friend Christine and say 43. 43 as with Christine, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tony, what do you think? No, I know it's going to seem like I'm going with Lisa, but I really thought this out uh, because I wanted to hear your Jack Benny imitation. Oh, is that who that was? 39. Uh, 39. Now, Lisa, did you ever hear, you know, of Jack Benny? Yes. Does he sound like him? No. <laughs> <laughs> After, you know, with all of this, I forgot what you said. You said 39. You, oh, that's right, 39. Of course you said 39. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's right. That was That's the whole stick, isn't it? Yeah. Richard Anderson actually is 44. Ooh. Oh. So that means we have winners by by, uh, by Carrie yeah. and Kristen. Yeah. Both who said 43. Norm. Norm, no lie. Right after Lisa gave her guest, she singled to me to say 44. No lie. I really? 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 I'm sorry. And the now idiot. she's gloating now. She's oh. like, well, she should have stopped. I'm with not. That. I'm not. What's the matter? Read the wrong age, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your finger <laughs> slipped. On, uh, <laughs> slipped. <laughs> yeah. Your finger. I had a paper machine. Copied it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so, so far we have uh, Lisa, uh, still, uh, and uh, and uh, Glenn still leading three apiece, but uh, we have uh, some. People close behind. Michael has two, and uh, Carrie has two, and one apiece from Kristen and Tony. As we go to Chita Rivera. How many does Aaron have? Uh, Aaron? <laughs> yeah. Aaron. <laughs> I thought you left somebody's name off. I just wasn't uh, sure. That's right. I left Aaron. I also left Sid Whitaker's name oh. off, because neither one of them have anything. Oh, I have a reason. I'm taken aback by... By Lisa's extreme beauty and my mind just isn't functioning the way it should be. Uh, Aaron. Oh, that's a oh, yeah, that is so sweet the way he said that. Who cares if it's a cop? Well, that's the, that's what this country needs more. <laughs> more love. More love, you know. I mean, that's that's much more tender than, say, a drive-by shooting. For example. <laughs> okay, Cheetah Rivera appeared in the movie Sweet Charity. And she was on the Dick Van Dyke show in the 70s. Oh, I don't remember that. In 1993... What was she on in the 70s? I'm sorry. It says the Dick Van Dyke Show. But it, recently, this past year, she won a Tony for Kiss of the Spider Woman. 
I think I think she was. Wasn't she also in uh, West Side Story? Was that Cheetah Rivera? No, that was. Uh, oh, I, I went black. What was her name? It wasn't Cheetah oh, Rivera. Know, it was uh, Maria. Uh, uh, no, I know what you mean. No, another woman who I adore. Uh, uh, Marita, uh, uh, Marita Moreno Moreno Marita Marino. Rita Marino yeah, Marita Marino Yeah Moreno Marita Moreno yeah, yeah okay. That's right she was okay Is that Charo? No no no, no. Charo is somebody <laughs> totally different Is that Geraldo? No no wrong <laughs> <time. laughs> <laughs> Chita Rivera Okay let's start with uh, you Aaron Oh great Chita uh, Rivera Chita Rivera uh, Rivera Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay, and uh, Michael, what do you say? Michael says fifty, and uh, I, I was, you said sixty. Yes. Okay, and uh, Sid, what do you think? Uh, Fifty-three. Fifty-three. And uh, Lisa, what do you say? Sixty-three. Sixty-three says uh, Lisa. And Glenn, the birthday boy, how old is Cheetah Rivera? Say. <laughs> Why even ask him? <laughs> Am I allowed to say 53? I don't even know. You can say anything you want. You want to copy Lisa? Can I, can, is that what you're saying? Yeah, because I don't know. I, I vaguely remember her on Dick Van Dyke, but that was not one of my favorite shows. What, is, what was she on? What did she do on Dick Van Dyke? I don't remember her. I don't either. I don't remember. I see, I see uh, that. I mean, they have it done as one of her credits. That's... I know. I see Nick at night a lot, which has the Dick Van Dyke show with Mary Tyler Moore, Dick Van Dyke, and all that. And But I, never, I don't recall seeing her. So I don't know. But anyway. Uh, maybe, she was, maybe she was cameras or something. Maybe she was who? Cameras or something. Maybe she was Maybe a she did makeup. I don't know. That's right. Nobody said she was Exactly. Out. She may not have been right on camera. Oh. That's true. She may have been behind the camera. Yeah. Choreography, yeah. probably. Or she may have sold insurance to the uh, to cash. Yeah. Do you notice that in credits and movies now? They put everything there. Caterer. Yep. Guy who sold insurance. Gaffer. Yeah. Well, Gaffer is part of it. That's, you know, part of the electrical system or... Some kind of technical stuff, but I don't. I don't care to know who brought them glazed donuts, for example. <laughs> on the set. I don't see it, why that name has to be in the credits. I really don't, and I resent it. I'm sorry. I'm getting steamed up again. <laughs> uh, Tony, what do you think? How, how old is Cheetah Rivera? Um, she's pushing fifty-three. Fifty-three. Yeah. Pushing fifty. Pushing fifty-three. Pushing fifty-three. Okay, Kristen. Kristen says 56. She completely Ken. lost her faith in me. She's just guessing. Wild, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Carrie, what do you say? Um, I think 57. And Carrie says 57 in her sweet voice. Say that, say that again, Carrie. 57. Isn't that sweet? That's a <laughs> sweet voice. Okay. No, I remember the earphones. Yes. Were you watching? You were talking about the farm earlier? About the farm? Yeah, the movie. The farm. Oh, the, the farm? firm, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, um, I was watching that earlier tonight. Did you like it? It, I, it was hard to follow. It really is, and after after you after you finish seeing the movie, when the movie ends, but the, I, I remember seeing it in the movie theater. By the time I filed out of the movie, I guess I couldn't file out. Go kind of one person file. <laughs> anyway, I, I left the theater. By the time I got outside the park, I couldn't remember what the movie was about. I kind of enjoyed it. It had a lot of fast action. But it's one of those things that doesn't stick with you. It's like a Chinese dinner. Thank you. <laughs> 20 minutes later, you want to go back to see the movie again to try to remember what it was you saw. But you want to know about Cheetah Rivera. She's 61. Ooh. 61 now. I think uh, oh I think God. we got another winner. I think Lisa. Mike got that, doesn't he? Lisa and Glenn, I think. No, 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 oh, no Mike. Wait, 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 you're right. It's Michael. Michael said 60. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike, Mike, you're right, Mike. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're right. And that means we have a three-way tie then. Ooh. With Glenn, Michael, and Lisa. Boy, this is really getting exciting, isn't I gonna, it? I was going to change my answer to 61. Oh, we don't care what you're going to do. A little later for that now. I'm going to change my answer. Who knows? Well, nobody believes you, Glenn. <laughs> I know it's your birthday. We should believe you, at least on your birthday. But I don't believe you when it's not your birthday. So right now, 
So you poisoned everybody against me, Noah. Well, and right. Uh, no, no, I was always against you, yeah, Glenn. No, 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 everybody's been against you from the very beginning, Glenn. She sounds, she sounds an awful lot like the weatherman. <laughs> right, Johnson? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Right. Personality? Well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say an invasion of poisonous uh, frogs and heavy, heavy dew. I was going to say that as my <laughs> weather. Like, oh my and and yeah, I'm not just Jew. saying now because it turned out that way. Who's my cousin? Okay, Jerry Kramer. We'll just ignore anything you're going to say, Glenn. Just because it's your birthday, we don't have to be uh, kind to you, you know. No, no, no. I never heard of Mike Johnson. You never heard of who? Frank, Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson. Well, Frank Johnson is our meteorologist. He's, oh. he's 13 years old. That's yeah. all they have to be to be a meteorologist these days. <laughs> Jerry Kramer, you know, Jerry, now, Jerry Kramer. You have got some names on this list. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Kramer uh, played a few years back for the Green Bay Packers, uh, and he was one of the first football players to write a book, which I read called, this is Instant Replay, was one. It was a lovely book. I remember reading that. I enjoyed that. And then later on, he wrote a book called Distant Replay, and I think he wrote something else, too. But he's one of the first players to write a literate book about what it was like to be in big time football. He played under Vince Lombardi when Vince Lombardi was the, the coach of the Green Bay Packers, Jerry Kramer. I remember him more as an author than I do as a ball player. That's anyway, that's Jerry Kramer. He wrote the book. I don't have any dates on that either. But the book came out, I'd say in the uh, 70s anyway, maybe the 70s, maybe the 60s, 70s, something like that. Does that help at all? Which book? Instant or in, instant, instant Replay was the first one. And there was a whole batch of books. Remember the uh, the knuckleballer for the Red Sox? What was his name? Who wrote a book also? Uh, Bill Lee, I think. No, not Bill Lee. Hedricks? No, I can't think of his name. Isn't that, isn't that awful? But a lot of people were angry because he would tell the inside story of what it was like in the uh, locker room, what it was like in the... Uh, and the dugout, while they were looking through the stands to see what pretty ladies were sitting up in the stands and all, and a little behind-the-scenes thing, what it was like to be on a road with married guys who were cheating on their wives. How the much whole, has changed? Uh, no, no, it's, <laughs> but, but they were the first, actually, this was the first guy to actually write like that and reveal all this. And I think nobody in baseball who's still playing or whatever ever wanted to talk to him ever again. I can't, I can't think of who that was. Why don't you write a book like that? I am. I'm, I'm writing one right now about radio. Yeah. And I get uh, I get plenty of... Uh, Can I your book? It'll be a shock. You, you got a lot of dirt, don't no, you? No, I was going to put you in the book, Glenn, but then I began yawning when I got to your part, so I figured, what the heck. Your book will shake and rock the like, broadcasting world. Like won't the LA Earthquake. It won't be the same ever again as I reveal what really goes on behind the scenes in a shocking expose. And I want an autographed copy. Okay. <laughs> Even though you are in it and all, and he reveals all. Yeah. As long as you pay for it, there'll be no freebie books passed out. So <laughs> I'll pay you for it, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start with, uh, let's see, let's start with Carrie. How old is Jerry Kramer? Um, I think 57. 57. Okay. And uh, Glenn, what do you think? 51. I was scared that the way I phrased that. What do you think? I thought he was going to really tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you. 51. Okay. <laughs> Tony, what do you say? So he had already retired before he wrote the book. That's correct. You think it came out in the 70s or the 60s, huh? I think this, I'd say the 70s. I'm trying to remember what was it Vince Lombardi years, but I'm not well versed in that, so. Fifty-four. Okay. No, no, no. He's not fifty-four. No, not fifty-four. What did yeah. Kerry say? Uh, Kerry said fifty-seven. Ah, uh, fifty-six. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It was a. Uh, it was. Uh, I believe it was Vince Lombardi who said, "Show me a man who plays his guts out for his team." Yeah. And I'll show you an Adam's apple. Did he have a Christmas party? <laughs> yeah, he had the. He, he knew my grand, my great, my Hungarian gypsy princess grandmother. Hungarian gypsy princess. Yeah. 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 She oh, was, yeah. yeah. She, she, well, he, can you can grace us please with another one of her wonderful? Another one of her wonderful saves. Yes. 
Okay, let me just. I always say. find this most fascinating. She was an incredible lady. I mean, oh, she was. She was something. Yeah. She was not. Yeah. Like, well, she was kind of strange, but she had some great sayings that I think that we all lived by, and I still live by to this day. She'd say, "Show me a man who cares about his country and his flag." Yeah. And I'll show you some buttered toast. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of the better ones of hers. She was really Yeah, something. that was. I haven't heard that one yeah, yet. Yeah, no, she, uh, she put life in perspective. She was something. Hey, Lisa, how old do you think Jerry Kramer is? Or my grandmother, whichever time <laughs> <laughs> I think he's 60. 60. We're having fun, aren't we, Lisa? We are. This is great. Yeah, you'll end up doing uh, like uh, the, Jerry, the uh, David Brudner show. That won't be any fun for you at all. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving you, Norm. I won't. Don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave me, okay? I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Do you like baubles and bangles and things? <laughs> the fake jewelry. It's I yours, know. honey. I noticed the car she drove in, and uh, she could use a new Hyundai. Oh. <laughs> Hyundai, just go to your favorite dealer and pick it out. Send me the bill, and it's yours. But I will not pay for the undercoating. <laughs> I'll have a thing about that. <laughs> Kristen, how old is Jerry Kramer? <laughs> You're laughing at what I said makes no sense at all. <laughs> this whole program makes no sense. You want to know the truth. WBZ makes no sense. Oh. How do you stay on the air week after week? <laughs> they don't listen. They don't, they don't even know I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. You understand that? Who's, who's our general manager? Uh... Ed, Ed Goldman. Ed Goldman. Ed Goldman, I'm here. Why don't you hear me? <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> okay. Uh, he won't, no, you won't hear that. You won't hear that. Like the sound of that. Norm, Norm, you, you not only are a supreme broadcaster, but i got to tell you, the only broadcaster that can get away with half the things you do. Right? <laughs> all, the, all the power to you. The other half, they still don't know about. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody knows about it. You power. think I would have at least made Dean Johnson's column by now, but nothing. <laughs> nothing happens. I love this girl. Yeah, I know it. Maybe even the track once in a while. I know now. it. I know it. All you got to do is run around in a Santa suit, and you'll be all set. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Kristen, how old is Jerry Kramer as though we really care? <laughs> I'm sorry, 65? 55. Oh, 55. Okay, Michael, what do you say? 55. You say 55 also. Absolutely. Okay, and Sid? I'll have to say 57. You'll have to say 57. And you better say it or we'll break your nose. That's right. Okay. All right. Aaron, what do you think? I think, uh, <laughs> uh 50. <laughs> were you doing, were you doing butthead that day or whatever? That, certainly was. That was very nice. Now, you know, it's like if I am, despite the fact that I'm an older gentleman. Have you finally watched one, Norm? Oh, yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. I, I just think they're very unfunny. Okay. Uh, you know, no, I mean, really do. I, I, obviously, I, I'm running into opposition on that on that uh -huh. feeling. They're a perfect reflection of today's youth. Perfect. <laughs> which, which makes it probably more scary than funny. I know it. <laughs> yeah, which obviously has no sense of humor in today's youth. Uh, Jerry Kramer's 58, by the way. Uh, and that means that Carrie said, said 57. Right. And Sid said 57. All right. And so there they go. That means we've got about a 73-way tie. Yeah, you, got, you got prizes for water mail out. No, Glenn. Let me see. Glenn, Michael, Carrie, and Lisa all have three wins. And we get very close to 4 o'clock. I mean, we'll do just one. Let's minute. carry it over. What the hell? Tiebreaker, tiebreaker. Okay, Casablanca, the movie. This is a year now. The Academy Award-winning film, Casablanca. Premiered this year. It starred Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bigman, you know, the character X, Peter Laurie, Claude Rains, Sidney Greenstreet. Nearly starred uh, Ronald Reagan and Ann Sheridan. They were their first choices, apparently. But uh, anyway, what year was that? And, and, it, and the premiere was on January 23rd, which is today's date. But what was the year? Glenn, what do you think? Hmm, I only want to say 1942, and the other one to say 39. Well, you say whatever. Well, don't worry about it. They're both wrong. No, no, no. One of them is right. 
Okay, then, then but we better go quickly because we have to have very tight for time now. How about 1941? 1941. Okay, Michael, what do you think? When was when when was the Casablanca premiere? Uh, 43. 1943. Okay, Carrie. Um, 1945. 1945. Did I mention you also had three wins? I don't know why I said that. Kristen, what do you think? Um, 1939. 1939, and Tony? 44. 1944, and uh, Aaron? 1939. 1939. Okay, yeah. and uh, Lisa? 1940. 1940, and what do you say, Sid? 1944. 1944. The year was 1943. Oh, I thought this was the 50th year. Last year was old. <laughs> Jeez. That means that the Michael, who and has now got four wins, he is the winner of all of now this Now we stuff. broke the tie. That's all that matters. That's right. We broke the tie. Michael, you're going to get a useless, worthless, tacky, nothing kind of prize that will end up in your flea market tomorrow. <laughs> no, not tomorrow, because I won't even get it out to you until sometime this coming week. So thank you all for playing. i got to get rid of you quickly, because we're coming up to the news. Glenn, happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> a lot of enthusiasm there. Well, that, that, make you, that makes the adrenaline. He's got the adrenaline's really flowing. <laughs> Michael, Michael, hold on. We're gonna here's here's a Sid is gonna take your name and address and stuff. So he's sending a really nothing prize out to you, which you'll hate. Okay, and Carrie. Oh, I just hung up on Carrie. Oh. I'm sorry, Carrie. Thank you anyway for playing the game. You too, Kristen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And uh, and both you guys, Aaron Sawyer and uh, Lisa Reichwein, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, right. thanks, oh, oh, it's news time. Bye-bye. Thank you, Boston. Show me a man who's running late on his show, and I'll show you a man who still managed to squeeze in a station ID as he rolled into the news. I must compile a list of all the wisdom of Norm's Hungarian gypsy princess grandmother and put together a lovely pamphlet. Speaking of written things... I'd like to take a moment here to inform you that I've recently published a children's book, Bows on Bears and Ties on Tigers, a fun, unique look at the alphabet, wonderfully illustrated by my friend Tracy Crossman. It is self-published right now and currently not available online. If you would like to purchase a copy, please email me at fuzzywuzzypublishing at gmail.com. I'll put a link in the description box below. Now before we go here, I'd like to say guten tag to our listeners in Belgium. Closing the vault and riding the radio waves home. For Sid Whitaker, Aaron Sawyer, Lisa Reichwin, Ed Goldman, and the man who somehow made sense by making no sense, Norm Nathan, I'm Tony Nesbitt.